Hi everyone! So today I am doing my first makeup tutorial in seriously I think over a year. How crazy is that? But lately I've been picking up a lot of uh, makeup goodies from the drugstore and I wanted to start doing tutorials and show you guys how I use my products. Today's tutorial is using this eyeshadow quad and I picked this up at CVS. It's by Maybelline and the, uh, um, it's called Copper Chic. It's number 70 and has a lot of really pretty coppers and just warmer shimmery tones which are right up my alley I love colors like this for pretty much anything every day or special occasions as well I really drawn to warmer tones so in this video I kind of created a little bit of a smoky eye I think it's really versatile this is something that you can wear during the daytime um, if you like to wear a little bit more eyeshadows on your eyes or if um, you want to make this a little bit more dramatic I think it'd be perfect for nighttime just use this darker tone to darken up the outer corners and the crease a little bit more. Plus in this tutorial I'm also using quite a few uh, products that I picked up at the drugstore recently so you kind of get to see how I use those as well. And let's get into the tutorial. I'm going to start by priming my eyes with this NYX eyeshadow base and it's just a skin tone color. I'm just going to take my ring finger and apply this all over the eyelid. Next I'm going to be taking this Maybelline color tattoo in the color bad to the bronze. I'm just going to go apply this with my ring finger all over the eyelid. Give a little bit of a tint. And this is going to act as our base color. Now for the eyeshadow palette today I'm going to be using is Maybelline's eyeshadows in Copper Chic. It has a really pretty assortment of different metallic kind of warm tone colors. And what I'm actually going to do is take a flat shader brush this is a Sigma E55 brush and I'm going to take this color, it's like a warm amber tone and I'm going to go ahead and just apply this all over the eyelid on top of that taupey color I'm just going to kind of blend it up into the crease now that we have that amber color applied I'm going to take a fluffier eyeshadow brush. It's more like a blending brush. It's the Sigma's E40 and I'm going to take this darker tone. It's like a almost like a cranberry color. So I'm going to get a little bit on my brush and I'm going to blend this into the crease. Starting in the outer corner is where I want the darkest to be. So I'm going to start blending there. Circular motions. Then go back get a little bit more color and blend that throughout the crease. Now to brighten up the eyes a little bit, I'm going to go ahead with a pencil brush. This is Sigma's E30 and with this lighter kind of a peachy shade, I'm going to blend a little bit into the inner corner and down to the bottom lash line. And then just kind of feather it out around the eyelid. We're going to go ahead and move on to our highlight. And I'm actually going to use another one of Maybelline's 24-hour color tattoos. And this color is called Barely Branded. It's a really pretty champagne -y color, similar to MAC's um, Bare Study paint pot. So I'm going to take a little bit with my ring finger. And I'm going to kind of glide this underneath the brow bone. Kind of blend it out. I'm just going to take the sponge tip applicator that comes with the eyeshadow quad and I'm just going to dip it into the lightest color. Run a little bit on the back of my hand so I don't get too much pigment. And then I'm going to kind of dust this underneath my brow and help blend it out after. I'm just going to take my ring finger and kind of glide it across. I'm going to go ahead and line my top lash line with this L'Oreal Voluminous car a uh, smoldering pencil and this is in the color brown so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to my top lash line and I'm gonna apply a little bit to the bottom of my waterline I'm just going to apply to the outer third or so just to create a little bit more of a dramatic look but since the it's brown eyeliner it's not as harsh I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara now. I'm using L'Oreal's False Fiber Lashes. It comes in a gold tube. Apply mascara to the bottom lashes as well. 
now that we have our subtle smoky eye going on, I'm going to go ahead and um, clean up underneath my eyes with a little bit of concealer. This is L'Oreal's True Match. One of the, um, what is this? True Match Crayon Corrector. Love this stuff because it's so creamy. And to blend it out, I'm going to use this brush. It's a large shader brush. It's E60, but I really like the way that this distributes product. So... Just because a brush isn't made specifically for concealer doesn't mean that you can't use it for that. To set the concealer underneath my eyes, I actually used an eyeshadow, not a face powder. And this is Max Orb. It's really nice uh, skin tone color. Not No shimmer, it's just matte. It's a satin finish. This works great at just setting that uh, concealer. And it really helps to also brighten up the under eye area. So you can tell I'm hitting pan. I really like this stuff. Now, I do have a little bit of blush on um, from earlier in the day. I'm going to actually go ahead and apply a little bit more. This is e.l.f. And this is a Mellow Mauve. I love this because it does not have shimmer. But it's perfect to pair with um, a little bit of a heavier eye. Just because it's not too much pink. So this is really pretty. And I'm using a large angled contour brush from Sigma, the F40. I'm just going to kind of dab this on the apples on my cheeks first and then kind of blend it out towards the hairline just a tiny bit. Don't get too crazy. We don't want to have 80 streaks. And now to finish off the look, we cannot forget to apply anything to our lips because to me, uh, your face of makeup is not done without lipstick or lip gloss or something. So I'm using L'Oreal's Color Riche. And this is number 174, Rose Taffeta. It's a really nice mixture between like a balm and a lipstick. And it applies really nicely. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial for this kind of smoky eye. If there's any makeup looks, um, celebrity inspired or anything that you guys would like to see or any products that you want me to use in a tutorial to show you guys how it works, let me know down below in the comments section and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> of course when I'm done is when I look so much more tan it's because the sun's coming up. Three, two, one. This is it. This is for. This was my first tutorial. Okay, blah. Has it ever happened to anybody else where you get like these eyelashes that all get all like crazy? But look how pretty that is. I love this manicure. Ah! I'm loving these colors. So we're getting ready to post a picture on Instagram. Oh, hello. Turn the camera around so I can see myself. These are going to be the two pictures we're going to use. <laughs>